Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my first video of 2022. Honestly guys, I did not know what I was going to film this week. I've just felt so disorganised and in such a muddle. Like, I find it really difficult to come out of Christmas mode. I find it hard to get into Christmas mode, like out of work mode, but then once I'm out, I find it really hard to then get back in. Um, and last week, I feel like was a total write-off. Like, the first week of January, I was just still full-on in Christmas mode and it was fantastic but this week I really do need to get organized um so I thought that I would vlog the week from the flat and we could get organized together and hopefully I could give you a little bit of motivation if you're still stuck in holiday mode as well so I am aptly starting this vlog where I have been almost every day of the past two weeks which is on my bottom on this sofa so hopefully that will change today also by the way guys just before we start look at my ears if you guys didn't see my what I got for Christmas video, JJ got me these absolutely beautiful diamond earrings and I've been wearing them every day. I just love them so much. They're so sparkly. Anyway, um, there are quite a few things on my agenda for today and I always start the day by making a list. Honestly, JJ laughs at me so much. Like, I love a good list um, and I haven't made any lists for two weeks. So I just don't know how I've actually coped without making lists, um, but that's going to be the first thing that we do today. <laughs> so here is my notebook. It's actually an old Zoella notebook um, that they sent me ages ago with my initials on, but it's just such a good notebook. Like it's nice and big. It stays open, which I really like. I'm very fussy when it comes to notebooks and this is a really good one. And I also only use this pen. It's a pen I picked up at this Vogue exhibition at the Natural Portrait Gallery like literally five years ago and I don't know how it's still writing. Um, it's the best pen ever. Yeah, I'm gonna start off by making my daily list. <laughs> Okay guys, I've done my list. How cute does my lounge look by the way? It's quite chaotic, but I just love it. Anyway, I have written my list. So I will read you through the things that I have to do today. So the first thing to do is plan my week. I actually usually do this on a Sunday night, so I'm a bit behind. Next is emails. So I have to reply to some emails, um, some from last year, some from this year, um, start some new email threads with brands um, and that kind of thing. That also includes sending some invoices from last year, chasing invoices from last year, and also booking in some meetings, hopefully for this week and next week. I have to book Coco's hair appointment because it's her birthday coming up and that's her gift from me but I'm also gonna get her some other presents so I have to look for Coco's birthday presents I have to send off my VAT return which I have basically completed last week I just have to finish that off and send it I'm also going on a trip this month to Dubai which is really exciting so I have to transfer the flight money to the travel agent and also look for outfits I already have a definite meeting um, in the diary for for this week which I need to make some notes for so I need to do that today. JJ is also here while well, he's out actually working today but he'll be back this evening so he will cook. I'm very very lucky that JJ doesn't mind cooking um, so I won't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah I think let's get on with it. Okay I've made my rough list for the week. It's subject to change. My week would not normally look as like chilled out as this but January is a very very quiet month so I like to take advantage of it um, and do stuff like having a clear out and definitely clean my flat and do all my washing um so yes I can tick off plan week off my list and I'm going to get started now with my emails Guys, I'm done with my emails. That took me just under two hours, which is actually quite good considering I had to raise quite a few invoices as well, which takes quite a while. I didn't have too many emails because it's January, it's quiet, it's actually blissful, um, but it feels so good to get all of that out of the way. Um, on a Monday morning. I'm really, really happy. A really good tip for anyone who has loads of emails to get through. If you get bored of typing, it's actually kind of quicker to dictate your emails on your phone. So you basically say like, dear so-and-so, comma, new line, new line. Thank you so much for your email, full stop, new line, new line. And you can basically just say it out loud and the phone types for you and it's really, really quick. And then it saves to the drafts. So then you can just like edit any typos on your laptop and send it off. 
and that's what I do when I get a little bit bored of typing. So I can tick a good few things off my list, which is very satisfying. And now I'm going to kind of take a break from like the worky stuff, give my mind a little bit of a break and do my online shopping bits. Now, as you guys know, when it comes to online shopping, I cannot actually live without Karma. So Karma is an app, but also a Google Chrome extension that's basically like everything you could ever need to help you with online shopping. There are so many cool features like price drop notifications, it scans coupon codes for you at checkout, um, and once you start using it you'll be like honestly how did I ever online shop without this and the best part about it is that it's free. <laughs> so I'm currently on Farfetch looking at Zimmerman dresses of course, so I definitely have my eye on a few like this one, this one, oh my gosh that's so pretty this one can i just say guys i haven't been on holiday in two years so i kind of want to make a little bit of a fuss and have a showstopper dress <laughs> okay so as you can see on the page as i have installed the karma app into my google chrome browser i have the little karma button at the side of my page so i'm going to press this to save the dress so i'm just going to choose my size ask it to notify me if there's any price change that goes into the sale or there's a promo on the dress and I'm going to add it to my Dubai list. So I'm going to do this for all of the dresses um, and also all of the other outfit options for the trip and it's just a really nice way of organizing your shopping so you can see everything in one page rather than having like a hundred tabs open and flicking between tabs you can kind of have it all laid out in front of you. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time browsing and I'll show you what I've got at the end. Oh my gosh, guys, I have been browsing for ages. I feel like I'm gonna get square eyes in a minute. Um, I'm really happy with everything that I've put together. I've got some really lovely outfit options for Dubai, some good present ideas for Coco, which I'm not gonna show you too much of because I think this video is gonna be out before her birthday. So just in case she looks. So I'll quickly show you what I've got now. So here's my Karma page. Over on the left-hand side, you can see the items that you've saved and open up your list. So over here, I have my Dubai list with loads of gorgeous outfit options and this just really helps me just like organize my shopping um it just makes it so much easier rather than having a hundred tabs open and trying to compare um here i've got present ideas for coco's birthday i've got loads of stuff there and also stuff that i need to buy for my flat which is super super helpful especially as a lot of these things i don't need urgently so i can put price drop notifications on these things um maybe when they go into sale or have a promotion karma will let me know and i can get them for a little bit cheaper so guys if you are interested in using karma you can download it for free using the link down below in the description box and i have some very exciting news i'm actually hosting a giveaway with karma we are giving away four far-fetch vouchers worth 300 pounds each and it's super duper easy to enter all you have to do is download karma onto your computer and phone make a far-fetch wish list and add three items onto it and then comment down below on this video the three items you've added to your wish list with your instagram handle and then i will contact the winners in 48 hours i'm going to leave all the information to the giveaway and the download link down below in the description box and i really hope that you guys enter so i'm just going to consult my list see what else needs to be done Done today i have to make the list of stuff that needs finishing in the flat make my meeting notes um, and i also remembered something else i need to do guys i have to buy a new macbook honestly my one you will have seen i was using my pink one my main macbook pro is like an elderly laptop it's clinging on for dear life um, it's just not coping very well anymore with the things I need it to do and as you can see there's like keys missing as well where I've broken it so many times and the time has really come it's been seven years um, for me to buy a new one I even cracked the apple on the screen and had to put a sticker over it so you couldn't see um, yeah I need a new laptop so I'm gonna wait till JJ gets back a bit later and um, because he I have no idea which one to buy basically and he will help me but for now, I'm going to have some lunch, make my lists, make my meeting notes, book Coco's hair, maybe actually order some of those presents. Um, and I'm hoping I can do all of this before JJ gets home so we can have a nice chilled evening. So I think I'm gonna check out for today, guys, because you don't need to see me making any more lists or typing on my laptop anymore. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow.
Good morning guys, today is Tuesday and it's actually a beautiful day which is kind of a shame because I'm not going out today. Hopefully the weather will hold up um, tomorrow when I'm out because I managed to begin a couple of fabulous meetings as well as one I already had in the diary as well. So tomorrow should be a really productive day, I'm really pleased. Um, but today I'm literally dedicating the day to the flat because it's just kind of a mess, it really needs some attention. I took down all of my Christmas decorations at the beginning of last week. So it's de christmas but but it's still kind of a mess and I really need to clean it and I kind of just want to make the most of this luxurious free time that I have um, in January and really just dedicate a whole day to making the flat sparkle. <laughs> I'm in such a cute cozy outfit today. I love it when you have these days where you can just put your really comfy clothes on. Um, I'm wearing this really adorable little sweatshirt from Abercrombie with my little and other story skirt that I always just live in. It's the best and some cozy socks so yes as you can see this room especially is a tip there's stuff everywhere and it's kind of like that throughout the whole flat so I'm just gonna go round now um, and do a little tidy up and then I'm gonna get my cleaning on yay I do actually like cleaning I'm not gonna lie I really enjoy it I just never have time to like really properly do it and get stuck in so um yeah it should be quite fun I'm gonna pop on an audiobook um to listen to whilst I clean and let's just make this flat look really nice again. <laughs> I've also got um, a little bit of washing that I need to do today. So I thought I would show you quickly my laundry basket because I'm obsessed with it. It was quite expensive. It's from Amara, which is like a luxury um, homeware store. But I just couldn't find one that I really, really liked. And the size is so perfect because it's big, but it fits perfectly in um, the bottom of these wardrobes. So it's just amazing and I just think it's so, so cute. So I will link it down below if they still have it in stock. I also really wanted to show you guys um, the washing stuff that I use because honestly, I am obsessed with it. Lenore and Bold actually sent this to me like when it launched um, months ago. And since I've obviously like gone back and bought more because it smells so good. I can't even tell you. It's the Wednesdays we wear pink, like limited edition. Like it says like so fetch or something on there and it's peony and raspberry. Um, so I've got like the pods here, um, the fabric conditioner, and this is like a scent booster, which like sometimes I use if there's like loads of stuff in the wash, but honestly, it makes the whole flat smell good. I also use the Lenore tumble dryer sheets, which are amazing. They make your clothes and just like the whole flat smell so good. And they make my dressing gown really fluffy as well. So these are the spring awakening ones, but they're nearly finished. So I'm going to use the sparkling bloom and yellow poppy ones. Um, I love these. And yes, I do have to use my tumble dryer um, because I live in a flat and I don't really have anywhere to hang out my washing. I also thought you guys would be interested in this because this is a tip that Josie gave me because she is the plant green queen. Um, so I usually have my plants either side of the fireplace, but the one over on that side like doesn't get any sunlight really at all. Um, so every like week or couple of weeks, I kind of switch them round but she said that if I have a day where like I'm not really doing anything or maybe even I'm going out I should move the plants and put them both right in front of the window because in the afternoon the sun comes directly through this window so they get lots of lovely sunlight so that's what I'm doing today I'll also water them they're really thriving to be honest like I was really worried that I would definitely kill plants but they seem to be doing really well. They're really like sprouting at the bottom. Um, and I'm just hoping they'll grow really, really tall. I would love them to reach the ceiling one day.
morning guys um i know i'm wearing the same top as i was the other day i actually just rediscovered it it was in my drawer and i never look at the clothes in my drawers i only look at the clothes in my wardrobe so i just like rediscovered this top and i love it so i'll try and link it down below if it's still available um but yeah today i have my meetings which is really exciting because it just really feels like getting back into work but in a really positive way and not a boring way so i have a couple of meetings um with two of my favorite brands which i'm really happy about and also another really really big meeting that i can't tell you about now and i'm so excited that i just said that because i feel like every youtuber it's like a rite of passage has to say that at some point in their career <laughs> I just got home from my meetings. Can you believe that this happened? I actually can't believe it. I only popped into the Apple store to basically talk to one of the guys to help me choose which laptop to get because I find it really confusing. Um, and if you're gonna order these online for like pickup or delivery, you have to wait like over a month for them. Um, so I spent like 20 minutes chatting with him and we decided which one I was going to get. And he said, I've literally just had a delivery this morning and after everyone's received their pre-orders, there's one left, do you want it? <gasps> So I bought it. Sorry, it's so heavy, oh my God. So I've got a brand spanking new MacBook Pro, which I was so not expecting to happen today. Um, I thought I was gonna have to wait ages for it. So I just had like a massive stroke of luck. I'm really, really happy. Although I'm not allowed to open it without JJ present because this is his passion. Whereas I couldn't care less. I'm actually really, really irritated that I've just spent this amount of money on something silver. Like guys, you know, I literally hate silver. It's so annoying, but that's literally all they had or like space gray, which is even worse than silver. It's like dark silver, ugh, horrible. But aside from that, I am really, really happy that I've got it um, because I feel like this is such a great step towards organizing my life because this is something that I should have done like honestly, two years ago. Um, but on a more fun, brighter note, I also came back home to a gorgeous delivery from Coast. Oh, I've kind of messed it up a bit, but they just sent me a really beautiful gift, um, like these dried flowers, which are so, so pretty. Um, a beautiful dress, which I may take with me to dubai next week and like another thing i just can't believe it's such a coincidence look what they sent me they sent me a daily planner with my name on which is such a coincidence that i'm filming this video and this arrived today um but it's from papier and it's just it just looks really really good papier do amazing planners um and it's personalized in my colors so yeah thank you so much coast that came at the perfect time um and i'm gonna fill this out in a little bit Good morning guys. Well, that's actually not really the morning. It's like 1 p.m. I did actually just have lunch, but I always feel like I have to say good morning when it's the start of my vlog day. Look at my swan, she's so beautiful. Um, yeah, it's a really miserable day today. I don't know why I feel the need to always give you like a weather update, but it just really affects my mood. Like I just love the sunshine um, and I kind of feel like unproductive when it's gray and dark and cloudy. It really affects my productivity. That's something I really need to work on this year. But I'm actually going to have another like flat day today. So as you saw, I cleaned this flat from top to bottom a couple of days ago and it's literally pristine, which is so nice. Like I find that such a nice environment to be in. Um, I'm really, really happy. So today I'm actually gonna sort through all of my cupboards. Well, there's like a few cupboards in particular and just like areas in the flat that were really nice when I moved in, but obviously like life 
life just happens and you just end up shoving things when you're in a rush um, and now there are certain cupboards that are just a little bit um, messy that I could really do with sorting out. So for example this is one of the cupboards that's been bugging me um, recently. This is my linen and laundry cupboard um, and as you can see it's just become a mess like especially at the bottom um, and then even just at the top like over here I've just been flinging stuff in and not really putting the towels back properly. So this is one I'm going to sort out today. I think I'm actually going to switch the bedding and the towels round because I change my towels more often than I change my bedding and it's really hard to reach the top which is why it ends up looking a mess. So yeah I'm going to figure all of this out today. Also um, the cupboard next to that one is like my work slash office cupboard which again it's just kind of got a little bit chaotic where I've just been throwing things in um so I just need to organize it more um I kind of do need everything I mean I probably don't need the huge abundance of notebooks this is only half of them as well the rest are in this box um but yeah it's just gone a little bit chaotic so this could do a little bit of attention today too also I can't believe I'm actually showing this to you guys because honestly I never open this door it just stays permanently shut I never ever go in here this is my other bathroom um which which is literally a little bit of a junk room. This is like where I literally just throw things in that I don't really have a place for. Um, and it's completely neglected because I want to totally like do this bathroom up. Um, I purposely left it out during my renovation because I wanted to leave myself like a fun project to do. Um, and I have really, really fun ideas for this bathroom and I really actually want to get started with that fairly soon before my year gets really busy. So I feel like today I just need to have a little sort out and just make sure there's nothing in here that I don't need anymore and kind of get it more in a place where I can start thinking um, about decorating it. I also um, really <laughs> need to sort out this cupboard. Honestly, guys, this is so not like me. Um, it's really just not in my nature to have really chaotic cupboards like this. So I want to try and organize this a bit better today. The bottom is fine. The bottom is like, my kind of cleaning stuff and my ladder. I was actually thinking of doing a wardrobe clear out, but honestly, I was like reviewing the situation and there's enough to do today without doing a wardrobe clear out as well. So I might do that in a separate video. I'll ask you guys on Instagram today if you would like me to do a wardrobe clear out video. It would be my first one from the flat. So that would be interesting. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. And I think it'll be really good just to help me feel really refreshed and in order and organized for the new year. Um, and I'm gonna, again, take advantage of having enough spare time to do something like this today. Oh my gosh, guys, literally, just as I was about to start, I just had this delivery um, from Flowered, and I think there are a hundred pink roses. This is how big they are compared to me. They are so heavy. Um, so yeah, what an amazing surprise. I'm gonna put these in a vase now. I feel like it's gonna take me quite a while to trim 100 stems um but that was just such a beautiful surprise so a big thank you to flowered just wow when you are feeling close to me and you tell me you care you know joy feels inside of You're thinking about me now More, more than ever before Well, that's when I feel all can be right in the world When you tell me, tell me freely what's in your heart My cupboards are done. I'm feeling so cleansed after doing this. So much more organized. I can actually like see everything now. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the kitchen cupboard. That looks a lot better. My work cupboard is looking a lot less chaotic. I just think it's the cutest work cupboard anyone's ever seen. Like everything is pink, it's amazing. Um, and then my linen cupboard is looking really good as well. Like this is so much better. I had so much stuff in there that I didn't actually like want or need. Um, and this is just looking a lot more organized. My towels look really good. Um, so yeah. That actually took me a lot less time than I was anticipating, which is good 
fixed now i can just get more stuff done um something that i really need to do that i was going to do on monday but i just ran out of time um is i need to make a list of like all of these things i need to do in the flat because when i like finished the renovation and moved in there were a few tiny tiny things that i was like well i can just do that once i've moved in um but i just got so so busy and there's a few things that have just been left like unfinished so i just need to go around the flat make a list and work out when i have time um to do it so obviously one big thing is the bathroom i really need to start like organizing that getting a pinterest board together of inspiration i'll show you a few bits so i mean this isn't really something that i can do this is something that my dad needs to do but he basically took apart the door frame to fit the chaise lounge through the door um and i was going to have the chaise like reupholstered so he didn't like really put it back properly and fill in all the holes and everything um but now I've decided not to get the chaise reupholstered, so it's just going to stay exactly where it is. So I really need my dad to come and do this because obviously it looks really like really bad. I've got all of this spare fabric um, that I just am storing in my dressing room. This was from my curtains in the bedroom and this is the fabric that I was going to reupholster the chaise in. But I had a total change of heart so I'm wondering if I can maybe um, send this fabric back or find another purpose for it. But I do really need to get the fabric out of this room because otherwise it will just be here forever and I also really need to buy a little table for the lamp and also the wi-fi box because basically the sky people told me that the reason one of the reasons that it could be really bad the wi-fi in here is because I had the box on the floor which I'm not sure I believe them so at the moment it's looking really ugly there I need a cute table so I need to get that sorted in my bathroom um, I actually contacted a spray painter to spray paint my chest of drawers and my toilet seat pink well, like the very subtle pink that's on all the rest of the woodwork um and i just totally forgot to bring him book it in because i just got so busy like around cyber week and christmas so i need to do that i need to call him get that booked in also in here i don't know if you guys are going to be able to like really notice this but on this weird like corner plastic bit um it's white and i really hated how it looked when it was white so I actually painted it in the pink. Um, my dad told me not to, because he was like, the paint won't sit well on the plastic. But I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna try it. And I did, and my plan was to leave it for a couple of weeks to see like what happened. Um, and it's absolutely fine. Like it looks, it looks fine. It hasn't flaked or anything like that. So I actually need to just finish the rest of it because there's a piece there at the top. And also this bit um, down here as well, I need to do. I also found this in the other bathroom that I'd completely forgotten about. This is a little cabinet that my mum gave me, um, which I really wanted um, to put in here to put like cute perfumes um, and little things like on display. So I need to paint this, obviously. I need to paint the outside and the inside. And clearly I just put this off because I got so sick of painting by the end of like the flat renovation. Um, but this could be like a little fun project one weekend if I don't have much on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna like put this out and keep it in the bathroom to remind me that I need to do it. So I've actually got loads more to be getting on with. I also need to book a PCR test for JJ and I for our trip um as well as other things i know there's more oh and something else i really want to do today and um, probably a little later on this evening is i need to like have a clear out of my laptop because i'm going to be transferring everything um onto the new one but you know when your like laptop just gets clogged up with pointless files like i've got hundreds of downloads and pictures and like probably stuff that i don't need that's really clogging it up it's so so messy and i really don't want to like transfer all of that rubbish onto the new one so i need to spend like a good i reckon it'll take me a couple of hours actually because it's seven years worth of stuff um that i need to sort through and try and get it as like clean as possible so that i don't clog up the nice new one because hopefully jj will be back tomorrow um and will help me set it up so i need to get everything ready for that which is very exciting oh and i also need to clean my makeup brushes today i have been meaning to do that every day this week keep forgetting guys i think i need to make a list Voila, my brushes are clean. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel so cleansed when my makeup brushes are cleaned. It's just like a, a reset, it's amazing. Although I was stood here washing them and I realized I have another major job that I really need to do. You guys may have seen um, 
these bags of empties when I was cleaning my bathroom. These are literally two bags full of um, empty products, oh my god. And basically Boots have this really amazing scheme where you can go into your local Boots store, you need to check that they are part of the program, um, and you can drop off your empty products to be recycled and they actually reward you with Boots points on your Boots card. And it's really, really cool but it's very time consuming because you basically need to log every single product individually you need to like take a photo of it upload it and kind of give details about the product like one by one and i have so many but it's something that really really needs to be done and i feel like today is the perfect day to do that too <laughs> i've also made my list of things to do in the flat there's quite a lot of things to do some of this is like things to buy as well um and then this is the list of things that i've got to sort out um for decorating the bathroom so i don't think i'm actually going to do any of this today because i just feel like this is an entirely different task all in itself and needs a day or two i'm um, just dedicated to this maybe next week maybe a weekend um but i'm really glad that i've kind of got it down um so i can get a little bit of perspective and start to plan when i can actually get these things finished oh guys it's been a really productive day i'm very happy um, i'm not done yet but like the rest of the stuff i've got to do is pretty much all on my laptop so i'm gonna get cozy i'm gonna put something on tv like a movie um whilst i clear out my laptop and do my empties um, and this is definitely going to take me a few hours um, so I'm going to say goodbye for now and I will see you guys tomorrow good morning guys look how much these roses have opened up overnight look at this one it's absolutely massive I actually had to split the flowers um, into two vases and I gave my mum a bunch of like 20 roses as well um, I just can't believe how beautiful they look so I have another really productive day on the cards, less like flat home stuff and more work. Um, I need to do my emails. I always have this thing where like I feel so relieved when I reply to all of my emails and then I forget that they actually reply back and then you have to reply back again. It's like never ending. I could really use some help with that. Um, and then the other thing I really want to do today is like do some video planning because I hate it like when I get to the beginning of the week and I'm freaking out because I haven't planned my video in advance and I have to try and think of something and prep it and film it and edit it all before the next Monday. So I want to do some video planning today, some brainstorming. I'll probably ask you guys on Instagram for some ideas and the kind of thing that you want to see from me over the next few weeks, because I feel like this time of year is really like difficult on YouTube because it's just a really like dead time of year. It's so cold, there's like nothing really going on, but I need to try and get that figured out today. Um, and then also something really, really exciting that I haven't told you guys about at all. And if you are one of the people that have watched this far into the video, then I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So I'm actually relaunching my blog this year, which is so long past due. Like I should have honestly done this years ago, but life just gets so busy. And last year I just made the decision to find a designer who could do it for me. Um, and I've been working with her for like six months. She is honestly amazing. If you want any kind of like website or blog design, her name is Gillian Sarah. And she has just been an absolute dream to work with. Like I really just want to give her a shout out because she's been so lovely and so supportive. And she's just wonderful so thank you a big thank you to Gillian um but she just needs a few things from me to like fully finish the blog so we can hopefully get it up um, and running next week so I have to do some work on that but seeing as you guys were kind enough to watch this far into the video I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek on the blog design so this is what the blog homepage will look like I just love it so much I think it's so beautiful I was so happy that we were able to incorporate Eleni's illustrations from my YouTube intro into the blog as well um just so exciting to be working with such talented girls women um on this like it's amazing um so here's a little bit more of a sneak peek um we haven't like fully all imported like all of my posts yet so this is kind of just like a mock-up but look there's like all of the illustrations from my intro oh my god it's so adorable so i'm really excited for you guys to see this when it goes live hopefully next week um yeah so yes, I'm gonna get on with the work I've got to do. And then this afternoon when JJ is here, we will unbox and set up my new laptop. <laughs> JJ is 
far too excited about this. I'm not even going to tell you guys well, the I'm extent. I'm trying to subdue like... it now for the camera. No, don't. I don't look like an absolute nerd. No, don't. But ever since I was like Please, never 12 do... years old and I did my iPod re MacBook review. You actually inspired my YouTube channel, JJ, because I knew if you could do it, I could do it. If I'd have carried on, I'd have been a star. Yeah. <laughs> you could, honestly, I if, been, I would... if I hadn't bullied you, I if have... me and Pearl and like all our friends yeah. hadn't bullied you. Before it was a thing. You may have actually been like a huge tech first... YouTuber now. Super famous. Super rich. Doing this for a living. Damn. Oh, see, I'm just rushing it. Don't, I'm don't. Ew, why is it so square? Yeah, it's a good thing. That's really weird. Because what you, what you don't realise is your laptop tapers. Yeah. So it's not thinner. It's just a tapered oh, edge. Okay, I see what you're saying. It's actually really... Whereas they haven't tapered this, they've just kept it square. How fascinating. <laughs> Oh. You like that sound, don't you, JJ? Oh, that is. That is quite satisfying. Oh, and it's the peel. The key and peel. Fantastic. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is like Spy Kids. Junie! Junie! <laughs> oh my god, the background is hideous. Oh, look. Is that okay? Oh, you know how like when I highlight stuff, it goes like pink and everything is nice. Yes, you have to. That will like be this. when we do the changeover. <laughs> is that the one you want? Yeah, oh, okay. it's like this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and I like everything pink, not blue. God, Apple does not know what the customer, aka me, wants. I think they do, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so guys i'm going to leave it here for this week's video i'm honestly feeling so amazing compared to how i felt at the start of the week i was feeling so disorganized and just like a lot of things were feeling on top of me and i just feel amazing i was so productive this week and now i feel so ready to just start the year um, and i really hope this gave you guys some inspiration if you were feeling a little bit behind as well thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you all next week bye